Here's a question about area and area of circles. Um, we have a diagram with a circular pond with a path around it. So there's the pond in the middle here, this is the path. Um, essentially we have a circle within a circle. This circle is a radius 5. The biggest circle, though it's not clearly shown because you've got the 1 and the 5 there. Um, from there to there is 6 meters. Okay, um, with circles we must know these two formulas. We must know that the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter, or sometimes that is written as 2 times pi times the radius, where pi is this special number that's about 3.14. If you use your calculator, which you can on this question, you can be much more accurate than that. Um, but for this question, we need to know the area of a circle, which is pi times the radius squared, pi r squared, pi times the radius times the radius. Those forms are not given to you on the exam, and they never will be. You've got to learn those. And if you don't know them, obviously you can't do this question. So, um, work out the area of the path. So this is essentially a compound area where you've got the big circle, take away the small circle. So if we work out the big circle um, area, so we've got area of a circle radius 6, so um, area is going to be pi times 6 squared, which is 36, 6 times 6 is 36 pi. Um, we can do that on a calculator, which we will in a minute, but... Um, you are told to give you answer to three significant figures. I'm going to leave it like that because that's that's an exact answer. I don't have any decimals there to write down. It's a bit easier as well. Um, the other one, the smaller circle inside that, um, I call that area two. It's going to be pi times five squared, which is 25 pi. So five squared is 25. 25 lots of pi. 25 times 3.141, and so on. So if I take those away. Um, that will give me the answer. Now I could take them away as um, values of pi, which will give me 11 pi. Uh, that would be the exact answer. Um, but as it's asked for three significant figures, we must use the calculator. Um, let me just pull up the calculator that I've got. Clear the answers. And the last question I did. Um, so, going back to the 36, the pi button is this one. With the, the On this calculator, it's the shift of this button because it's the gold color. Shift gold color. Gives me that pi symbol, 36 pi, and I want to take away 25 pi. And that will give me the answer, 11 pi, which I had, but I need it as a decimal. So 34.55751919. Now I would write everything that's on the calculator first, because that's going to guarantee my two marks. And then I need to... Um, Three significant figures would be the first three non-zero digits. So one, two, three. Now we've got to be careful. Once we get to um, a non-zero digit, we count any digits, including zeros. One, two, three. I've got to chop it there. So I'm actually rounding it to one decimal place. So this three significant figures is the same in this question as one decimal place. So I look at this one. That's a five. So that's going to round this up to the next one up, which is 34.6 three marks. Okay.